Triumph Speed Treble 1995 for sale on eBay. In the paperwork, the bike comes with its V5 registration document. It says one former keeper, although there was only one owner for this bike in reality because the last ship it registered in his name never used the bike. <coughs> <coughs> it has an HPI check certificate, which I've just done. That shows the bike is all completely clear. Nothing in the bike's history there to be concerned about. <coughs> I've got the direct.gov um, MOT test history download there. Data tag paperwork. And it's got. Oh, this is the alarm system, um, security system on the bike. I don't know what the brand is, I've not seen it before. I'm not even sure if it's working or not. It's got its service book there, which is all completely stamped up. It's been stamped from one end to the other. Um, you see, it's even got stamps in the front. <coughs> <coughs> in the front of the book, it's stamped all the way through it, right the way through to the back cover, stamped on the back cover, inside the back pages, then back up the front pages because they ran out of space. Um, it's got its owner's manual there, and it's got its service history. I haven't gone all through this because there's miles too much here, but that could well be all the bike's history documented there. There's also got a few relevant bits like data tag and glue and that kind of stuff. It's got its old MOT test certificates. And going back there, you can see here where it jumped from. Well, it went past its 100,000 mile mark there, which took place in 2004. And there's like the original Sauer's invoice and all that kind of thing there. A few little things to point out around the bike. Um, one is the bike has no MOT on it, so you're going to need to get an MOT if you want to use it. The bike's been in storage, it's been cleaned and protected with WD-40. There are areas all around the bike where you can see there's a slimy film on the bike. You'll need to clean that off if you want to make the bike look a little bit better. The starter engaging system on this is worn. This is a fairly typical fault on these. They do it at much lower mileages than that. Um, it's a fixable thing, but I do think you have to take the engine out to do it. The exhaust I can see is rusty down there as well, but it's not leaking when you ride it. No obvious leaks anyway. The exhaust system, the cans may have been modified. It sounds to me like it's slightly louder than I would expect, but not much louder. It sounds nice, but it's not like race cans. The left fork seal it was leaking a little bit at one point, um, I would say. At this point, I don't know whether it's down to wear or whether it's gone hard. I think most likely at this point, because the bike has been in storage for a long time, it's because the seal is hard. So all you need to do really is to use the bike to see if the seal seals. If it doesn't seal, well then you know it's because the seal is worn. When I first went for a ride on the bike, I noticed that under heavy acceleration, the bike seemed to drop onto two cylinders. I noticed on my way back, it didn't seem to do that anymore. But the fuel in the engine is probably quite old. I think using it would probably make it better. I doubt that there's any sort of problem there that's need any more attention than just use. The original tools are still under the seat. You can see there's been a repair done under the seat there at some stage. Um, what's this for? There's a reflector missing on this left hand radiator cover there. You can see when you look on the other side the uh, reflector is in place on that. This front left indicator has been taped up. Got tape around it. Uh, the rear tyre has had its day, you need to do something about that. Somebody at some stage has data tagged this bike right through the middle of the right hand mirror. If I was the employer of the chap that did that, I'd do something to him. Oh, it's a ridiculous place to do that. Anyway, there's that. There's also there's a small dent on the right hand side of the tank, about halfway down there, shallow down, and you might be able to get that out if you knew what you were doing. but. There we go. Good luck with the bidding.